everyone, Wagwan Wagwan, and welcome back to my channel for this tutorial today. It's going to be super easy and fun. I will be using this shirt, which is one of my favorite shirts. I love this shirt so much. You know that one clothing item that you have at home that you refuse to give away? Well, this is that shirt. And for some reason, it got ripped. And I won't toss it out now. I think, yeah, there's a lot of life in this shirt. So I will turn this shirt into a cold shoulder puffer sleeve shirt. And now I will be using this beautiful African print wax fabric as a sleeve. And you will need quarter inch of elastic. I will be adding some rhinestones. So I'll be using these AB crystal rhinestones and my application one for that. I will be using tape measure and your scissors. That's it. We will start by cutting off the sleeves. If you're not comfortable with using a scissors, you can always use a seam ripper. The seam ripper will do the same thing but I will be using the scissors to cut off the sleeves, but I will make sure I will be very careful. So take your time so you don't cut any other part of the fabric. Now that we are done cutting out our sleeves, this is how it should look. See, really nice, clean cut. So now it's time for us to cut out our puffer sleeves. To measure your puffer sleeves, measure from the tip of your shoulder all the way down to where your puffer sleeves would start, then around your arm, then from where the puffer sleeves would start, measure all the way down to your wrist, then around your wrist and you are done we will start by using the sleeve that we just cut out as our guide so from the tip of my shoulder to where my cold shoulder sleeve would start was five inches so we're going to measure from here to here and that's five inches now we're going to move this a little up to the edge of the fabric and the measurement that I had going down from there was 18 inches. So let's put it there and 18 inches right there. Now I will be adding two inches seam allowance. So we will have enough to put our elastic through. So let's measure from there. Okay, so two inches would be right here. And it depends on how wide you want your shirt sleeves so i want mine to be this wide so let's see how many inches is that so that's ten and a half inches for me so we will cut across ten and a half inches right there and we're just going to make two of these sleeves so let's let's cut Now that we have our two sleeves, we will be sewing going down this way. So let's take these to our sewing machine and get sewing. done sewing our sleeves going down as you can see I serge the edges you can also use your zigzag stitch if you choose to do so I love to do this because it gives it a finished look and also it prevents my fabric from fraying so now that we are done with this part we will move on to the next step so now we are going to cut the elastic that we will place at the top and the bottom of the sleeves 
So my measurement at the top was 11 inches and I will add two inches to that. So that will make it 13. So I will cut the elastic at 13 inches for the top and down the bottom was seven inches. So I will leave that at just seven inches because I like when the bottom part is pretty snug. So you can leave that at seven or if you want it a little um, not so tight, you can just put it at eight inches. Now to sew the end of the sleeves where we are going to place our elastic, we will fold half of an inch at the end like this. And we will leave around say two inches unsewn. That is where we will push our elastic through after we're done sewing and the same thing we do for the top that's the same thing we're going to do for the bottom so let's get sewing are done sewing the edges of our sleeves we are going to place our elastic inside so you're gonna use a common pin and you're gonna push it through the elastic and then we will be pushing it through When you're done, we are going to bring it over to the sewing machine and we're going to sew this across like so. And then to close where we left off, we just do like so and sew across. And with the same thing we do for here, we're going to do it for the rest of the sleeves. Now that we are done sewing our sleeves, they should look exactly like this. Look how puffy these are. So we're gonna attach them to the shirt. So right here, under the arm, we are gonna place the top part of our sleeve right here. And we're gonna put it right there and we will pin it Right there, just a little sole, and we should do the same for this side. So the top part, yes, this is the top part. And there it is, right there. Let's take it over to our sewing machine and sew. Now that I am done attaching the sleeves to my shirt, if you notice, you can see a little patchwork thing going on over here and here. So I think I want to use the same African pin fabric that I use for the sleeves and make two small patchworks to put on my shirt. And also I will be using the rhinestones, a few rhinestones on the pockets. Okay, so that's exactly where I will place them. And I will also be using a pink thread. And I will be using this straight stitch, but I will be doing a zigzag across. So it doesn't have to be perfect. So just go crazy with the straight stitch in a zigzag motion. Okay, so let's go sew those.
now that I am done sewing on the patchworks, this is how they look. So the last thing that I have to do now is to put on my rhinestones. And yeah, this is the end of the project.